Okay, in today's video, we will be preparing a sample of insoluble salt. Right, so to prepare an insoluble salt, I'm going to have a solution of two soluble salts. So I have potassium bromide, that is a soluble salt, and I have lead nitrate, that is also a soluble salt. Right, when I mix the two of them, so when I mix lead bromide and potas, potassium nitrate and potassium bromide and lead nitrate, the lead ion of the potas of the lead nitrate will combine with the bromide ion. So the lead ions present in the solution of lead nitrate will combine with the bromide ion present in the potassium bromide solution. So we will get a precipitate of lead bromide. So that will be our insoluble salt. So when we mix these two solutions, we expect to get a white precipitate of lead bromide. So pour out some of the lead bromide solution right. and then I'm going to add some of the lead nitrate solution and as you can see it formed a white well got cloudy all right but if you can see it is forming a white precipitate right so in here we mix lead bromide potassium bromide and lead nitrate so now we have inside this beaker a mixture of lead bromide and potassium nitrate so if we want to obtain our lead bromide because it is insoluble and the potassium nitrate present is soluble we will filter the mixture all right so after we mix the two solutions of the soluble salts we get a white precipitate of lead nitrate and so now we are going to filter it and so i have my conical flask with the filter funnel Right. and I have folded my filter paper place it inside of it right. and so now I'm going to pour in the mixture So the colorless solution that is coming through that would be potassium nitrate because all nitrates are soluble so it will be able to pass through. In a moment I will let you have a look at the filter paper. Right? So again we had a solution of soluble salt which is potassium bromide and we added we mixed it with lead nitrate. Both of them are soluble salts, right? But the bromide ion of potassium bromide combined with the lead ion of lead nitrate. So that formed a white precipitate of lead bromide. The potassium ion combined with the nitrate ion to form potassium nitrate now that is a soluble salt so when we do filtration we are trying to separate an insoluble substance from one that is soluble right so because the potassium nitrate is soluble that solution will be filtered right so it will come into the conical flask so now i'm going to let you have a look at the 
the filter funnel inside of it so that white solid you are looking at that is the lead bromide so when you filter it the potassium nitrate which is soluble it will be filtered it will come into the conical flask and the residue is the insoluble salt which is lead bromide so to prepare an insoluble salt it is pretty simple you just get two soluble salts right but you have to ensure that the positive ion of one of these salts when it combined with the negative ion of the next salt it will be insoluble so we know that lead bromide will be insoluble so we could have mixed a soluble salt of lead nitrate with one of potassium bromide so that when the lead ion and the bromide ion combine we get an insoluble salt right which is why we have a precipitate because it is insoluble so it will not dissolve the reason why we are getting a colorless solution inside of the conical flask is because the potassium nitrate is soluble so it dissolves completely and so we have our solution of potassium nitrate and inside of the container we have our precipitate which is lead bromide all right and so now i will show you the white precipitate of lead bromide hmm? that's it so all we do is allow it to dry all right so that is a white precipitate of lead bromide all right and so that's it that's how you can prepare an insoluble salt